And now to This Is Our Home, and this week I visited a place that was my home for four years. It's a community that lifts each other up and made me the person I am today. Here's my story about the town of Linden. Helping other people every day. That's the mission behind Hope, a nonprofit in the town of Linden operating a community sourced thrift store. Our mission is basically to to make life better for those in our community using the resources that we have as much as we can from those in that same community. And it all started in Jody Wheeler's basement with some help from friends and neighbors. And I just thought, you know, what if we as moms just like all pool our stuff, whatever we don't need, take what we do need. There'll be plenty left over for people that don't have anything. Extending a helping hand to those who need it most. We try to do um, the emergency needs, the immediate. You know, people have a fire, they need to come that day to get jammies for that night, you know, that kind of thing. From household items to games and puzzles, store manager Haley Kaplan saying the possibilities are endless. We have a little bit of everything um, and you never really know what you're going to find. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. We're probably like the only store in the area where you can get a whole outfit plus some for under $10. Linden is full of charming community hubs like Hope, but here's one you can't miss, the Miss Lindenville Diner. Hey, we're the news station. That's a good <laughs> <laughs> Between home cooked meals and lively conversation, Janet Powers has served thousands of customers in her 28 years as a waitress. We've had a lot of famous people here too. And I mean, I'm sure some very big decisions have been made over breakfast many, many times. And among those hungry diners, students at NVU Linden, the college serving the community for over 100 years. The people are friendly, the people are caring, the people are proud of their towns. From student to teacher, Professor Daniel Daly feeling thankful to give back as a faculty member. I'm the only faculty member here who was born and raised in this town, and I'm very fortunate to be a member of the faculty at my uh, you know, university in my town. And it's that desire to give back which makes Linden so special. We are concerned about the people that live next door. They're our friends, they're our family, they're our neighbors. We're close like that. Between its many covered bridges, four seasons of beauty, and unmatched community spirit, Linden is a place unlike any other in the Northeast Kingdom. The ruralness, the beauty, uh, the people, uh, just come give us a try. It's a great area. <laughs> looks like a beautiful place, especially it looks like a lot of nice people there, Ben. Some of the nicest people I've ever met in my uh, relatively short time on this planet, <laughs> Sarah Beth, live in Lindenville, and I was thrilled to uh, do the story uh, on that town this week. Good stuff. Thank you, Ben.